The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones the liberal and the day GCN is a child sacrifice Network. day. Just remember, remember that. Your devil worship. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. It's Alex Jones. We're going to have open phones in the third hour, I promise. Unlimited, rapid open phones. And a bunch of other news. Antibiotic crisis bigger than AIDS as common infections will kill. Who warns? It's already going on. This winter was devastating and killed two of my family members, which is standard drug resistant, uh, drug immune staff. We're going to be breaking that down and how to counter it. There are ways to counter it. We're also going to get into Nevada. Congressman seeks probe of armed militia operations at Clive and Bundy Ranch. They're going to have federal groups go out and target people as terrorists, just like they did with the Hatari militia, who were found not guilty. Well, the, the, the judge ordered them released and said it was a conspiracy to frame them. Uh, we're also going to get into finding the best path forward to protect the open Internet. The FCC is putting on a report about protecting it while they build a new Internet that they claim jurisdiction over. So we're going to be breaking that down. Snowden bashes Clapper offers advice to would-be whistleblowers. Dr. King um, family says, uh, tell students of modern-day black genocide. We're going to be breaking that down. And a bunch of key clips I haven't even gotten to yet. We're going to go to Tosh Plumley here in a moment. What I'm going to do is callers seem to bring up angles of things that are better questions than I ask sometimes. So we're going to take five calls for Tosh Plumley after he's given the floor for about five, ten minutes. 
as a big Benghazi whistleblower. If you don't know who he is with all this Benghazi news breaking, he's been told he's going to be subpoenaed, which is a gag order. So he's getting it all on record now. And he's been subpoenaed before, obviously, as a famous whistleblower on Iran-Contra and other events, even flew weapons to Castro back when he was allies with the U.S. He's been doing it since the late 50s. So if you don't know who he is, he's very well known, one, one of the most famous whistleblowers out there. Uh, obviously, most people only know about the Pentagon Papers. Uh, and then other than that, they don't even know who whistleblowers are. They know who Edward Snowden is. This is one of the only Benghazi whistleblowers that hasn't been basically disappeared. They've been changing their identities, you name it. So I want to open the phones up for your quick questions, your specific questions for Tosh Plumley. And we're limited on time, so you don't need to thank him, any of that. Just say, here's my question, Mr. Plumley. I'd like to hear from you. And here is the number for questions or comments for Tosh Plumley. 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Eight hundred two five nine nine two thirty one, and we're going to go right to him here in just a moment, and let him recap or cover any other points he didn't cover yesterday about his intel from the fact that Benghazi is just part of a larger operation going on for three and a half years, shipping heavy armaments, high impact armaments, high energy weapons, anti aircraft missiles, uh, artillery, anti tank missiles, you name it, to radical uh, Islamists, mainly Al Qaeda which is now openly admitted. Plumley came on last year and said it in October and got threatened by the DOJ. So this is a big deal. I want to hear from you, 800-259-9231. Now, before we do that, please remember this broadcast is listener supported. And we support ourselves with a few sponsors we've got, but mainly off the products we sell at InfoWarsStore.com off the memberships, the nightly news, prisonplanet.tv. It is vital that you understand the globalists are trying to take us out and take us down. And money is essential in our war. It's like fuel. It's energy to expand our operation, to keep our operation going well in the face of the globalists. We've got the pouches uh, that block your phone so that the government can't track where you're at. Uh, and so uh, you're also not getting the radiation from it when you're not using it because it still radiates. We've got a full selection of those. Uh, we've got the best gravity-fed filters, the lowest price, the ProPure systems, the G2 systems, you name it, for 10% off with promo code WATER. We have InfoWarsLife.com with the best colloidal silver out there, with the Super Mel Vitality, with the discounted for the first time ever, um, nascent proprietary survival shield, the fluoride shield, uh, the lung cleanse, all of it are the very best revolutionary products. The iodine was our number one product. It now looks like the Super Mel Vitality may become that because people are finding out just how amazing it is. It works on women, frankly, better. But we're coming out with a female version that's been tweaked the next month. But it's all available at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free. We can answer your questions, take your order, tell you about discounts. we got pro-Second Amendment, pro-Liberty, uh, apparel, uh, women's gun shirts that are just awesome, men's shirts made in America. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. I want to thank you all for your support. Now, going to Robert Tosh Plumley goes by Tosh. Most of you already know who he is. It's just that he's one of the biggest public whistleblowers out there. And he says if they gag him, as they've said, the subpoena's coming, this time he will not shut up. And, and Tosh, A, why aren't you going to shut up? And then B, uh, where do you see all this going? And then C, any other points you didn't make yesterday before we got to questions? Okay. Uh, thanks, Alex, for having me on again. I appreciate it. You bet. That. You're That's ultra low. Day. Can you guys turn him up to me on my earpiece? Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Tosh. Okay. I want to say again, thanks very much, Alex, for having me on again. I appreciate that. Just hope I can um, uh, explain this. Uh, uh, well, I didn't hear your question that you had because you cut out right there. Uh, no, no, I understand. And, and, and your phone audio is real bad. Uh, do you have a hands-free on that? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, this happened again. Every time I go on one of these things, I seem like I get lost or something. I can play around here and I'll probably lose you. But um, I, is it any better coming in any better now? Maybe we'll turn your highs up. Just try to talk right into the microphone. No, that's fine. Go ahead and make your points. 
Okay, to ask me your question again, I didn't catch it because it's cut out. Well, no, I mean, uh, sure, sure. Why Why are you saying you won't follow gag orders now? Why are you going public when you pulled your Facebook when they threatened you last year? Well, I, uh, I don't feel I should be threatened. I mean, if they sort of left me alone, perhaps I wouldn't even uh, went into this. The Benghazi questions were originated that from information that came from a NATO source over in Af Afghanistan who was working that project after he'd been transferred uh, from working the Mexico task force project. And in, in that, they found out about weapons. And he contacted me, and then that started uh, the question, uh, questions about the 11 Benghazi que uh, questions I had out there. Uh, that evidently created some problems in D.C., and started them wanting to know where my contacts were. I pulled the information that I was a journalist and would not divulge those contacts. They went undercover, went down for a few months, and then came back up again, threatening me. Uh, this came out after I saw after your program, and a, a two, two sources, one military and one civilian source, contacted me few days ago and told me that I'd better watch what I was doing because the state of uh, the uh, DOJ was in process of uh, issuing, going to issue a subpoena on me. The reason that I decided to make contact was I know what happens when, those, when you're subpoenaed to go back and testify to a committee. The nature of what I'm dealing with and what I've dealt with in the past it would be immediately classified top secret committee sensitive, and that is where the gag comes in because at that point, if I continue to, to uh, relay those questions and ask for answers, then I would be in violation of a national security statute and subject to five, uh, I think it was 20 years they told me, in a federal prison. I went and talked to an attorney about this, and then he told me to be extremely careful and then I decided, well, the only thing that I can do is, again, try to go out to the Sunshine Law and put this all out uh, before the fact. And so that's the reason for me in the last few days going on all these programs and talking about this. What do I expect to happen? I expect that the political powers that, are, that be will try to turn this political and try to say that I am trying to undermine Mrs. Clinton's re-election or election campaign, which is not the truth. So, and I've already been told that that's what that particular group, I call it that way, uh, are saying, is that Kwame has been uh, paid by others to go out and undermine the Clinton bid for the president. I don't know she hasn't said she's going to go. I have no beef with the Clinton. This is not about policy. This is about arms shipment going from our direct commercial sales program, international gun running on a large scale. The Benghazi's death, the four guys, brought this to the surface. They tried to bury it. Ever since I was on their program last time, this is tried to, they tried to bury this. Bury it. The only reason I devised those 11 questions they're yes or no questions. They're very simple questions. They can ask those questions and get an answer from our elected officials. If they say no to some of those questions, and then later down the line we find out that that answer should have been yes, then we got them in another lie and might possibly be able to bring charges and get them out of office. Um, I sort of got roped into this. I never intended for it to go this far. I opened up the Facebook page mainly to pull all this information together into one place so that the American people or whoever's interested in this can go out and do their own research, study what they can find through me pointing the way by pulling all these articles together, not only about Benghazi but about Mexico and about other illegal operations that I happen to know where to go to get the confirmation because of my background and association with government black operations, uh, dating all the way back to conference uh, in, uh, in Cuba. So I tried to say, hey, wait a minute, we're losing our freedom by degree. And this is one example of how we're losing those freedoms.